if I live to be one hundred. It is an entire century. Imagine all the changes that you would see if you lived to be one hundred. I had a neighbor who was eighty-five. She used to tell me what things were like when she was a little girl. She told me what my town used to look like, what her clothes were like, and what her school was like. I used to enjoy listening to her stories. Everything was so different when she was young. Listening to her was like having history come to life. I used to try to imagine what life was like for her back then. If I was a hundred, and I had grandchildren and great grandchildren, I would tell them stories about my childhood. I would hope that I had a good memory so that I could remember everything. If I do want to live to one hundred, I'll have to have a healthy lifestyle. Not too many people live to be that old. If I do get to be that old, I hope I'll still be mentally alert and physically agile. In my country, the prime minister sends a letter of congratulations to anyone who has their hundredth birthday. People who live to be one hundred are very special. Maybe in the future, with better medical care and healthier lifestyles, more people will live to be one hundred. If I live to be one hundred, I'll have a birthday cake. But I won't put one hundred candles on the cake. I could never blow out one hundred candles.